What's up guys, it's Harai7 and RCT bringing you another video for you guys and here we are part 6 of the emulation series this time around we're going to be covering Demu now uh, Demu is an emulator that basically uh, emulates not only Dreamcast games as you can see by the font, it's kind of alluding to the whole Sega thing but it also emulates and pretty well uh, Hikaru board arcade games, a Thomas Wave, and some others, even Naomi. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty beefy, even though it didn't start like that, because it started as a Dreamcast emulator exclusively, but they started adding stuff little by little, and it kind of grew like, in a way like Dolphin did. The only sad part, of course, is the fact that the last that they've worked on it has been, the last one that came out was basically, I think it was in 2017 or 2018, I'm not very sure on the specific date, but they kind of dropped the emulator, at least the, the core, the original team. Now, I don't know if, they, if uh, people, if it's open source in the way that other people can come in and make extensions or forks or maybe breathe new life into it, um, which is something that I, I wish in a way, and this is kind of like straying from the whole point of the video, but it would be nice if uh, you could take some of what the Demu emulator has already and see if somebody can come up with something to run the Saturn games in a much better way because to this day it's still the Saturn emulator is not up there yet. I, I did consider including it in the list among the emulators that I wanted to recommend for this year but as of right now as of this video Saturn is not up there however Dreamcast is and this one I'm gonna be showing you guys um, that it runs very well the Dreamcast platform uh, the console uh, the games run really really nice they're not 100% of course they're not at the point where compared to other emulators that um, that are let's say point on almost perfect in terms of graphics effects and stuff like that there are still some games that require specific tweaking so you might see a, a game running really well completely 100% of course I'm gonna be running all of these games not at the normal Dreamcast resolution but much much higher so that being said enough with the chatter let's go right into the gameplay see you there all right so here we are guys ready with the demo emulator you have uh, the window here run out of the middle stuff you have the choices to run uh, the games from the different perspective um platforms you have dreamcast now only one and two thomas wave you got some cave actual some cave games and some guy guy go but those i'm not gonna mess with uh haven't set those up I do have it set up for Dreamcast, Naomi, and the Thomas Wave. So we're going to be doing some of those. Um, but basically, yeah, this one, I'm not going to go through configuration because, again, this is all run-of-the-mill. You do have options to set up each one specific stuff so you don't have to worry about when you're running the game. And reason why I include this one, even though this one tends to be more on the tricky side when it comes to setting up, is the fact that at this point, the last iteration that came out, which is I think is 1.777 something, just go to the site and check it out. They still have it there. The site is even old school and stuff. That's how long it's been since they had another update to uh, their release but this one is working absolutely fantastic 
uh, all things considered. Now I have video, and this is basically how I have it set up. Even though I don't have the second, I don't have the second pass activated. I keep it this way. But you could eliminate this one. It's not really necessary. It's just for certain games and stuff. You can change this to other types of shader effects like the anti-aliasing, kind of similar to what the PlayStation 2 emulator has, and some different TV effects and stuff of that nature. But this, again, this is all a matter of taste. I do have it at the standard 4 to the aspect ratio, you know, respecting that that's uh, how the original games ran. Um, it does start in full screen. Window resolution, I keep it small so I can move around. But this one has the ability that the last one that I uh, ran into, the Final Burn Alpha, does not have, which is basically a double click to exit the full screen. This one does have it. I am running at six time resolution. I could go higher, but I don't have the plugin that has the latest and takes you all the way up to uh, eight times resolution. I am running it at 32 layers. I can go all the way up to 64. That affects the amount of stuff that you're going to be able to see from the game. So that's why even as I run a Dreamcast game now, you might see you might see that it has some of the elements missing. That is to be expected considering how well and how fast the games are running at this point is something that could be overlooked very easily. Now, first one I'm going to throw in here, of course. Uh, first one should be Zombie Revenge, or one of the more classic ones. Well, that one is extremely classic. But let's go with Power Stone. Power Stone 2. You say OK. And then it'll run automatically going into full screen, giving you the Dreamcast. Nice little intro there. So many memories. Do I haven't set up for you guys the VMU? Because I am running a different version for the sake of the videos. Since I have a very different configuration for my own personal use. I'm kind of running very similar to what you will find when you download it and you start configuring it for the first time. The only thing I did configure ahead of time was the controls. It gives you the option of setting up individual controls for a Thomas Wave, for Dreamcast, and for the other platforms as well. Welcome to the Power Stone world. So let's go ahead and play an arcade round here really quick. Fight for your freedom. Escape from the castle. Of course, I haven't played Power Stone for a long time, so please bear with my sucky gameplay. This is more for the purpose of showing you guys how well this emulator runs. A solid beginning. As you can see by the high definition of the character, you might see some, I don't know, maybe fog effects or transparency effects missing. I can't really tell, but the character is amazing. Really sharp, really nice. Let the battle begin. So everything is moving at a very nice pace. Can't get away from them. Oh, 
of here with the alt enter button which is uh, the key to getting out of full screen and just go to stop and load up another one now before loading that one what I was mentioning about the controls basically you have this panel right here you get a choice of setting up up to four controllers for the Dreamcast four controllers for the arcade and a side giving you uh, a test uh, controller configuration and a, a Mahon uh, setup as well system board all the stuff all the nice stuff that you need like save states and load states and all that good stuff so let's run another one for Dreamcast time let's make it a I have a special collection that was done back in the crazy days of the copies and stuff of Dreamcast games uh, it's fan made or fan built so to speak it has several driving games in one uh, CD we get here actually I'm gonna I'm gonna run the crazy taxi for Naomi so why not run this one seen that logo in a while. Genki. Stop that one and okay. Gonna have to exit. That one doesn't seem to play very well. Let's make sure that it's not going on here in the background. All right, let's do another one. Go back here. Let's run another one. Let's do something like Zombie Revenge. set up properly the VMU but it's okay because you don't need to necessarily uh, save or anything like that now this one has some weird artifacts going on however the models are pretty high definition
Are we still following? Try to skip to the game. Zombies are showing me. I cannot believe this. Machine gun. Oh yeah. Bullets. I made him shoot some rockets. Shot gun. Antidote. Help me! Help! Save the girl. Bullets. Bullets. Pick up the shotgun. Pick up the shotgun, you idiot. There you go. Shotgun. Too late. So that went pretty well. Let's see. Let's try a Naomi game. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, Crazy Taxi works pretty fine, but how about if we try something along the lines of. Hmm, although I don't have many Naomi games, so. Let's go with Crazy Taxi one. Hopefully it recognize the control screen that I have for arcade. Credit button is working. Let's go. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You well, of course, it does not steer as good as it would with the driving wheel, but. There, I thought it froze. Oh, some of that red money, the orange money. Now, the analog stick on the Xbox One controller for this game is really extremely sensitive, but it's still amazingly fun considering that this is basically the exact machine. Oh, 
two dice danger. Alright. Get out of the way. Watch that. Look at all that tip. Let's go! Okay, there we go. Oh, that was too dangerous. Careful. That worked pretty well. Go that way, babe. Okay. 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 Probably gonna work. Yeah, that one, the round set is not there. But let me see, alien front, maybe? No. Let's jump into a Thomas way then. I'm gonna run, of course, I have to run a Samurai Spirits one, and this one was the only one made for the Atomus Wave, which is Samurai Showdown 6. I do have it configured, so there goes the credit sound. As you can see, it's running fairly well. A game, in my opinion, that should be remade. Let me use the game. You do see some 2D artifacts because this one had a weird mix of 2D sprites and, and 3D-ish backgrounds. I'm going to use it with... Anyway, I'll use this one. And this is just uh, basically a nice little test for you guys so you can see how well it's running. don't get any filters on top of the 2D art. That's the way it, it, it ran with um, <clears throat> with the original game. <clears throat> Here, of course, you can use items and stuff and the characters are much more weird Demu is basically the animator that I had installed and configured in my hyperspin setup back in the day. But I can tell that at least on the autonomous wave part, it seems to be working really, really well. Much more smoother than I'm used to running it from Hyperspin. So this one, I'll probably update my Hyperspin setup to include this version. Now in order for me to confirm that completely I need to run at least Dolphin Blue. Dolphin Blue is, oh my god, amazingly difficult to emulate. And the last version that I have on my Hyperspin is pretty rough. So if it runs here at all... Hmm. Got a blank.
next screen. That's not a very good sign. So let me give it one more try by getting out and going back in and trying that that again. now there you go at least we got onto the Sammy screen oh yeah this is looking really really good hopefully we can reflect some of that. Actually it does, but it's okay. Can't ask for perfection. It's a very tough game to emulate. But all things considered, it looks pretty sharp. Even with the other uh, facts. It's nice uh, playing more of this game now that it's running much, much better. I think that's gonna cover for now at least basically what the demo can actually do and as you can see it does pretty much a lot even though I didn't try for you guys uh, he got one the other stuff it is a multi-platform even though it stays with the uh, Sega platforms mostly it's a Sega emulator from the Dreamcast era and both arcade and console that is worth your try. So if you're into this, go right ahead, try to get that version, download it and configure it. If you have any questions on how to do this or if you want me to do an update video showing how to configure, just let me know in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe and take care guys. Have fun gaming.